Namaste everyone. Today's session is about the major stages in lifespan development. The recap of previous class explains about some of the major contextual influences are family, socioeconomic status, neighborhood and race or ethnicity. Socioeconomic status affects developmental process and outcomes. The most powerful neighborhood influences seem to be neighborhood income and human capital. Other important environmental influences stem from culture and ethnicity. The learning objective of this session is, by the end of the sessions, the student will be able to describe various stages of lifespan development and discuss the physical, cognitive and psychosocial development that occurs in prenatal to late adulthood period. The session outcome is, the students understand the importance of eight periods and the characteristic developmental needs and tasks of each period. So the major stages in the lifespan development, human development is a process that continues throughout our lives. Developmental scientists suggest that certain basic developmental needs must be met and certain developmental tasks mastered during each period for normal development to occur. So the first stage in the lifespan development is the prenatal development. The conception occurs and the development begins and all of the major structures like nervous system and other major uh, structures of the body are going to form and the health of the mother is of primary concern at this particular period. So the period is between from conception to till birth of a human being. Second period is the infancy and toddlerhood, birth to the age three. The first year and half to two years of life are one of the dramatic growth and a change. A newborn with a keen sense of hearing but very poor vision is transformed into a walking, talking, uh, walking, talking toddler within a relatively short period of time. The third stage is the early childhood that is from three to six years of age. Early childhood is also referred as the preschool years consisting of the years which follow toddlerhood and precede formal schooling. As a three year to five year old, the child is busy learning language, is gaining a sense of self and greater independence and is being to learn the working of the physical world. Next is the middle childhood that is from six to 11 years of age. In this period, the child uh, the child is in the middle childhood, that is, the child learns and do much of what other children are going to do and the experience, the experiences at this age is connected to their involvement in the early grades of the school. Next is adolescence, that is from 11 to about 20 years. It is a period of dramatic physical change marked by overall physical growth, growth spurt and sexual maturation known as puberty. The next stage is the young adulthood. The period is between 20 to 40 years. It is a time when we are at our physiological peak but are most at risk for involvement in violent crimes and substance abuse. It is a time of focusing on the future and putting a lot of energy into making choices that will help one earn to status of a full adult in the eyes of others. Love and workplace are primary concern at this stage. Middle adulthood, that is 40 to 65 years, this is a period in which aging that began earlier becomes more noticeable and a period at which many people are at their peak of productivity in love and work. It may be a period of gaining expertise in certain fields and being able to understand problems and find solutions with greater efficiency than before. Next is late adulthood, 65 years and over. Late adulthood is sometimes subdivided into two or three categories such as the young old and the old old or the young old and the oldest old. So to summarize this session, the session helped in understanding the progression of human development from prenatal period to the late adulthood with all the stages in between. Thank you.